A gloomy and boring Wisconsin day is about to get a lot more colorful and exciting courtesy of some slick shooting and wild enthusiasm from the always outspoken Patrick Flanagan. My job is to constantly push the limits, uh, evolve the sport, and do things that are different from everybody else. Patrick is quick to point out that he is, in fact, different from everyone else, and to use his own term... Abnormal would be the word that probably best describes me. But that larger-than-life personality is all part of what makes him a great shooter. That and an awful lot of hard work mixed with raw talent. I can't teach you how I do this because, I don't know, it's an instinctive action that I happen just to do when I'm shooting these Mossberg shotguns. So he might not be able to teach us the shot, but he can certainly show us how it's done. This impossible shot is literally shooting from the hip, but with a little Flanagan twist thrown in for the added wow factor. You don't shoot your gun this way. You're not supposed to shoot a gun this way. Guns aren't supposed to even function this way. They don't teach you to shoot like this when you go to the gun safety class. Let's just say that. This time it's gonna be from the hip, but I'm turning the gun instead of right side up, that baby is going upside down. Yep, you heard him right. Upside down and from the hip, showing off some serious shooting skills. Let's take a closer look at this impossible shot. Patrick will be throwing the clays into the air with his right hand while holding the gun in his left. He will then switch the gun over to the right hand and shoot the targets from his right hip with the gun turned upside down. The challenge is to ultimately see how many clays he can hit. And what is his gun for this shot? Of course, his trusted shotgun, the American-made Mossberg 930. Now, let's get started and see just how extreme Patrick can go. The gun upside down from the hip. Good night. And right out of the gate, Flanagan nails one clay with ease. And then it's two more shots and two more clays, and Patrick has barely broken a sweat. So far, so good. This challenge seems fairly simple, and the clays are dropping fast. But don't be fooled, this impossible shot is much harder than it looks. The difficulty begins before the trigger is ever squeezed. The throw is always the most important thing with any one of these shots, okay? The shooting, I would have to say, truthfully, is probably 50%, and the throw is probably 50%. You know, it's, it's half and half. You've gotta be a great shooter, you've gotta be a great thrower. So that's what makes this sport so unique. Throwing one clay 40 feet into the air just a few times is hard enough, but try throwing multiple clays over and over and while holding a shotgun in the other hand. Not as easy as it looks. And then there are some unique shooting obstacles once the targets are airborne. I'm gripping the arm just like this, upside down, backwards hand, goofy looking grip, and I've got my trigger finger, still using that one finger, I'm the just like so. And I am swinging, spraying, and praying at those targets, buddy. So there's no sight picture for me. I'm completely relying on the natural accuracy and my eye, hand coordination, and feel for where the targets are gonna be and my feel for this gun and how it fires. It feels really odd, and the faster I can do this and get it over with, I can go back to feeling normal. Taking his own advice about getting this done quickly, Patrick gets back to shooting. All right, let's try three. And three clays in the air is proving to be a lot tougher to master. I think I'm getting to that limit. The, the extreme impossible limit. <laughs> so I'm gonna make this a very serious attempt at doing something very abnormal. Gun upside down from the hip. Gun upside down from the hip. Good night. Patrick Flanagan has definitely gotten serious about this impossible shot. He nailed his shots with the upside down from the hip shotgun challenge with one clay and two clays pretty easily. But so far, the next step up the ladder has proven to be a big one. Three clays has been rough, but that is about to change. <clears throat> All right, let's try three again. Three just like that from the hip. Gun upside down from the hip. Mossberg 930. With three behind him, it seems that Patrick is back on track, and let's make that the fast and fun track. <laughs> Almost instantly, he mows down the next group of clays and in a big way. All right, here we go. Oh, I hope 
<laughs> you got, if you didn't get those, I quit. Did you get them? Oh my gosh. Laughing, literally belly laughing, and shooting four clay targets with my Mossberg 930 upside down. That's how much fun we have here at Impossible Shots. Four throws, four clays, four hits. From the hip and upside down. Next stop, five. That's the that's gonna be the impossible shot. Five clay targets, gun upside down, Mossberg 930, made in the USA. Okay, he seems pretty confident. <laughs> ah. Not so fast, Mr. Flanagan. After a few tries, it looks like five might truly turn out to be impossible. Man, I gotta... It's beginning to look like no luck at five, and our impossible shot's number here might be the successful takedown of four flying clays. But that is when Flanagan decides to pull a fast one on the IS team, and without our knowledge, he takes this challenge to a whole new level. Yeah, baby! Did you count those? Did you see what I did? I told you I was gonna do five clay targets with the gun upside down, but instead, I just wanted to try six, and look what happens. That's right, six clays taken down more than we asked for or expected. Pretty impressive indeed. The stamina and skill of a world-class shooter. I said five was the impossible shot, but I made it six because, because I knew you guys would say no. Even with all of his wild and crazy ways, Patrick Flanagan delivered. Six clay targets, gun upside down, from the hip, Mossberg 930. It's a great start to an ugly day. Bam.